Hey, this is Dave from the Shepherd School, and we're going to uh, use some Mylar bags to seal some uh, sugar. Now, we've done this before, and, and it's done a lot on the internet. It's really easy to find videos of people using a, a iron to seal up Mylar bags, but I've had a problem. We've been sealing up, you know, a couple hundred pounds of, of stuff in our Mylar bags, but uh, um, when we put in our oxy absorbers and they suck up the air sometimes we don't have a perfect seal and air continued to flow uh, through the seal where there was a failure and then we don't get a vacuum seal and we waste a, a bag we waste the um, oxy absorber and then sometimes I've even had a few catastrophic failures because after we uh, seal up drop bulk dry goods, stuff like uh, wheat, we'll put it in the freezer uh, to try to kill any any larva or any, you know, moss or whatever. And I went into the freezer and uh, pulled a bag out and, it, and the seal uh, busted. It looked good, but then as it cooled, it, it came apart and ended up losing a couple gallons of pinto beans all over the, uh, the freezer. So I started brainstorming and I started looking at actual impulse sealers that you buy but I don't want to pay the money but basically all they are is a clamp and inside the clamp there's a a nichrome wire that heats up and causes the seal well I don't need the nichrome wire because I have an iron and that makes the seal but normally what I do is I just fold the bag over a 2x4 and use that problem with that is sometimes the bag bunches up so what I did is I made a clamp I got some uh, scrap 2x4, a little hinge, and the scrap I had for the project that where I got it from, it, it, was, uh, it was cut at an angle. I made it this long because this is longer than the top of the bags that I use for 5 gallon buckets. So I can seal gallon or 5 gallon bags. And it's a little longer because if this works, I plan on drilling a hole in the end right down through that's about the size of my uh, accessory hose for my food sealer so that I can try to vacuum seal the bag before I seal it which allows me to use smaller oxygen absorbers but we'll get to that part later so basically the idea is when we take the bag We can fold it over and clamp it down and then hit that with the iron and it keeps it flat because doing it the way that we normally do it, I'm trying to hold this, hold the iron, things are wiggling, things are moving, I'm burning myself. But using it with the clamp, all I've got to do is get it in there and then I can just hold the thing down and get it and then it makes a lot smoother seal so let's try it out just got some uh, sugar because you uh, you can never store enough sugar it's also one of the simplest things to store because you don't need oxygen absorber matter of fact you don't want to use an oxygen absorber because if you did Instead of have a nice five pound bag of sugar, you'd have a nice five pound brick of sugar. So. Now normally, we don't use a five pound bag. Normally what we do is buy a 25 pound bag of sugar and put a gallon of sugar in one bag, but uh, uh, not planning on doing that and I really wanted to try this thing out so we, we just got a thing of sugar that way so we're gonna push out the air a little bit get it down flat shut the clamp take the iron and run right over the top
I don't know if it's better than the old way, but it seems a heck of a lot easier to me, at least at this point. And what I'm going to do, just for safety's sake, is I'm going to run it again and make a second one. Now, as we were doing this the old way and just laying it over the table edge or laying it across a 2x4, it's really um, easy to want to just run the iron right over the flat and instead of making a, a pinpointed uh, seal to make a wide seal or just a flat seal. But I found throughout any kind of scientific experimentation, but just through observation, that when we do a wide seal instead of a, a, a thin seal like this, those are the ones that fail the most. And once you get that first seal, it's a lot easier to go back over. See, so I got one, and then I got two. just do is we'll just put five pounds white sugar and the date even though when you're dealing with sugar the date really doesn't matter as long as it doesn't get wet um, bacteria can't live just in pure sugar so uh, or it can't reproduce in pure sugar so until next time you can always feel free to visit our blog at uh, tngun.com y'all have a great day thanks